And here we are to kick off the Hood Olympics 2021. And we're going to start this one off with men's drive-bys with Mark Phillips of Team USA. Now, Mark is definitely a Hood Olympian that you want to look out for. He has won gold in several other Hood activities. And pay attention. Look how he looks around to see if there's any witnesses as he gets ready to complete his drive-by. He's going to be a tough one to beat. Let's see how he does. And Mark starts sliding. It looks like he may have caught his target off guard. The target hits the corner quickly. Mark cannot hit none of his shots. This does not look good, and Mark has failed the mission. He is disappointed with his performance. He knows he could have done better. He is going to have to learn to slide better than that. Next up, France's very own Desmond Johnson, a very decorated hood nigga in his own right. He's looking to take home a gold medal in men's drive-bys today. Desmond with a phenomenal start. He hits the target once, but the target is not falling. He's still moving. He hits the corner, and the man gets away. His hood in France is not going to be happy with his performance. He definitely may have to answer to an OG. Wait, what is this? It seems like Mark was so disappointed with his performance, he has decided to spin the block again. The target is coming back outside to see if the coast is clear, and Mark has spent the block again successfully. The target is on the ground. Mark has won a gold medal. And up next, we have one of the Hood's favorite activities. We have Team USA in men's jumping. Now, Team USA is definitely a team you want to look out for in jumping because there's not too many other countries that like to jump more than the Hoods in the United States. Let's see how they perform this year. And we also have our volunteer, Dylan Patel, ready to get jumped. Hey, what's good, bro? Hey, let's holler at you real quick. Hey, come on. And they're off. They get him to the ground very quickly and they're beating the mess out of him. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one to beat. You see the rapid hands and oh. Amazing, two stops to the head. He definitely will not be getting up easily from that one. And they run his pockets as well. This team knows what they are doing. And the last second kick, this man is not getting up at all. He definitely felt that and Mark and the team are feeling great about their performance. Next team we have is Canada. Now the Canadians are not bad at jumping. We do expect to see a good jump here. Not to mention they are a little bit smaller in size, but they have added an extra person to balance that out. Amazing strategy. Let's see how they do today. Hey, big bro, where you from? No, don't run, don't. And they're off. It seems a little hectic at the... Oh, and a member is hit. We're definitely going to take points off for that. It depends on how they recover from here on out. They finally get him to the ground. Let's see what happens. All right, he good, he good. Oh, he gets up too quick. This does not look good for Team Canada. Leland knows this and is showing emotion, wishing he could have led his team to do a little bit better. There were a lot of mistakes in Team Canada's jumping. I do not think they're going to be able to come out with a gold, a silver, or a bronze. Maybe they should just stop jumping people as a country. And we have Team Jamaica up next. Now, this team is a sleeper. People in Jamaica are known to have a side that will turn up when needed. This will be an exciting one to watch. Let's see what happens. Hey, my boy. Walk on, my boy. You're the wrong way, me boy. What? Get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. Jamaica with an amazing execution, ladies and gentlemen, in and out. That is the type of jumping you want. A lot of put, put, puts. We like to hear those and quick and got the point across. The Jamaicans are clearly our gold medalists for the event because they were very efficient. We like the way they were talking. We like what they were doing and they beat the mess out of them. That is a perfect jumping. And now we're going to take it to men snitching with Poland's very own hood nigga, Jonathan Newton. Let's see how solid he can be under pressure. Mr. Newton. How you doing today? Doing all right, I guess. Doing all right? As I'm sure you heard, this is Robert at a corner set today. Yeah, I saw the news. You saw? Yeah. When did they say they saw you there? No, they ain't seen me. They ain't see you? I ain't no snitch either. I ain't no snitch. Nobody said nothing about all that, but... I'm saying I'm solid. You saw it? They got your first in 10 years! 10? 15 to go, hurry up! What? How did you get 10? We didn't shoot the nigga, man. It wasn't even my idea. Whose idea was it? It was it was Brandon and Demetrius, man. Oh, Come idea. on, man. I'm not doing no 10. I okay. can't do that. Was it just y'all three? Yes, it was just us, man. Okay. But we didn't even shoot. We were just in there. We got one in and went out. That's it. We just took the money. You took the money? Okay. And he folded. And that quick, he has sold out his two partners and probably gave them 10 plus years in jail. Jonathan Newton has snitched. He is a rat in his own hood now. I am interested to see how Poland will handle their very own hood nigga, Jonathan Newton, who they sent to represent their hood, snitching on the rest of them. 
Next up, we have Mark Phillips doing snitching for Team USA. Now, Team USA has been a little bit off their game this Olympics. They have been losing a lot more than we expected them to lose. Let's see if they can take a gold home in snitching. Hey, Mr. Phillips, how are you doing today? As you know, there was a murder today during a home invasion. Witnesses saw you at the scene. And, you know, we're trying to figure out what happened. Can you tell us what you were doing today? I was at home, chilling. Oh, he was at home, he was at home, okay. Do you have a 10 years? Get out of my face. Okay. So you want to play? Now, remember the goal here is to not snitch, so let's see how solid Mark Phillips can be. We're going to be here for a while. Talk about some food. I'm sorry, I got a oh, fries, large fries. Got a Big Mac in here. I'm saying you help me out a little bit, I'll help you out a little bit. All I got to do is tell me what happened. Hey, he already told me. He already told me what y'all was wearing. He said, you had some tins on. He had some black Air Forces. He said I had some tins on? Some tins. That's what he told me. Man, you just guessed that shit, bro. Guess it? What you mean? I mean, y'all told me you had a, a, a gray Nike suit on. Man, what the fuck? So, so, so he a red-ass nigga. I, I, My nigga a red-ass nigga. I'm not, I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying that's what he told me. Well, fuck it then, shit. Lame-ass nigga, since he want to talk. Shit, hey, I, I feel like I deserve like one year at most. One year? Because I was just looking out. That nigga done ran up in there and shot them people. Oh, that was him? Yeah, I was just looking out, yeah. nigga. Okay, he was on that side. He told me he knew that, then he knew that place. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. Who else was there? Shit, it was, it was man, it was everybody, uh, nigga. Uh, uh, shit, Lil Ray. Lil Ray, okay. Shit, Marcus. Yeah, you know where, shit. You know where he stay at? Man, hey, I know where they stay. You know okay, I got it, okay. Shit. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get Lame that. ass niggas, I'm snitching on all them niggas. Oh, yeah, it's all you right here, by the way. You, yeah, no, yes, sir, yes, sir. You. And Mark Phillips has started singing. He has sold out the Team USA's hoods. Maybe he was a bit hungrier than he had led the investigation team to believe because he seemed to start folding when the McDonald's was pulled out the bag. A great job from the investigator, Benjamin Skinner. A bit Big upset, Mark Phillips will not be taking home the gold medal in men's snitching. Next up, we have Leland Menigo in men's snitching. Let's see how solid Canada can be. The other two hood niggas could not hold it down for their countries. Let's see if Leland Menigo can do it for Canada. Mr. Menigo. How you doing? Pretty good. So as you know, I was home invasion today. Actually, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Well, a couple was killed as well. Oh, okay. And when does it say someone with the master description was fleeing the scene? They lying. You're lying? Yes. Okay, he's lying. You know for 10 years? I'm not facing nothing. I don't know what's going on. You know what's going on? No. Okay. We'll see about that. Seems a bit hungry. So I'll some food. Mm. Nah, I'm good. Appreciate it, though. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I am. You know what I'm saying? I got a large pie. I mean, I can't eat it all, you know? Big. It's like a medium, half of them gone. There's a big mac in here too. Large Sprite. Like I said, I'm good. Thank you though. I don't need it. You good? Mm-hmm. You know your homeboy already snitched on you. He said he's wearing black forces. You a lie. I ain't never had a pair of black forces in my life. You never owned a black forces? No, not once. Okay. He also said that you're the one that pulled the trigger. Bro, I was not there. I was at home playing 2K. You playing 2K today? Yes. Okay. Any further questions? Nope. It's like you're free to go. Alright then, man. Flawless performance. Leland Manigo has stayed solid on the investigator Benjamin Skinner. 10 years could not scare him. I don't think 15 or 20 would have either, ladies and gentlemen. Leland Manigo is one of the most solid men in all of Canada. The hoods of Canada are extremely happy to have him representing their country. That man is solid. And last but not least, we have Mark Phillips with men's instigating once again. He gave a gold medal performance last Olympics. Let's see how he does this Olympics, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it again? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you just won, right? Yeah, yeah, you next? No, I'm not next. I was just saying, like, you, you, what you, like, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, right? Yeah, like 6'3". Oh, damn, 6'3". Yeah. And you, like, what, 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, yeah. Oh, damn, he must be, like, Isaiah I, Thomas or something. What? What nah, you about now? So he must be nice, because he's 6'3", he getting beat. What? Nah, he just, he just had a good game. What you mean? Oh, he had a good game? Yeah, it was close. That's it? That's all it was? It was a good game? Yeah, it was just a good game. Yeah. Oh, so he probably couldn't do it again, then? Probably not. What you mean? Oh, okay, baby. That's what I was thinking. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? What you mean? We're running back right now. 
but run it back, run it back. Right. I'm saying because no, ain't no foul. Not that should be beating you unless it's like Isaiah Thomas or something like. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be Isaiah Thomas to beat me. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, no, I feel, I feel you. I'm just saying. Don't look at me. I ain't trying to. You know what I'm saying? But your girl is here though, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she is. She over there. I'm saying she's probably looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? Girls like tall niggas that's athletic. You feel me? Yeah, I mean I'm tall. I'm, I'm athletic. I, I can't tell. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's whatever. Say, we, can, we can get it right now. I really don't we care. Can go right you now. said he wasn't that athletic, right? You said that? I mean, shit, maybe. I'm, I'm just saying it's whatever. Like, well, we what you trying to do? Back right now, girl did, his girl did text you that one time, right? I mean, my girl texted you. What you mean? I mean, once. But I mean, I, I, what the fuck you talking about? Nigga, what the fuck you mean? mean? What you mean, nigga? What she said? Hey, shit, you know what I'll do, nigga. I'm not playing basketball. I'm not playing basketball. We don't got to play basketball. I'm not playing basketball. We don't got to play basketball. I'm not playing 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 basketball. i am Oh, he must be like Isaiah Thomas or something. And right off the back, Mark knew what he was doing right here. Asking Ben his height and then asking Desmond his height. Clearly, he knew their heights already, and he just wanted to start something up. That's it? That's all it was? It was a good game? Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Oh, so he probably couldn't do it again then? Probably not. What you mean? Oh, okay, bad, bad. That's what I was mean? thinking. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? What you mean? We're running back right now. Mm, got him right there. He said he probably couldn't do that again. Now, we know for a fact that when you ask a nigga that question, that's only going to start something up. And you see how flawless that worked. But your girl is here though, right? Yeah, she, she is. She over there. I'm saying she's probably looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? Girls like tall niggas that's athletic, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, I'm tall. I'm, I'm athletic. I, I, I can't tell. You know what I'm saying? And there it is right there. Top tier instigating, ladies and gentlemen. He said, and your girl is right there. She had nothing to do with this, but yet he brought his girlfriend into the picture. Now, one thing we should know from niggas is when you bring their girlfriend into the picture unprovoked, there will be a problem every single time. No, your girl did, his girl did text you that one time, right? I mean... My girl texted you, what you mean? I mean, once. And that's all it took, ladies and gentlemen. Once he brought up the girl texting him, like I said, do not play with niggas' girlfriends. And he brought up the text right there. Mark is a gold medal instigator and he will forever be one. I don't think anybody can come close to him in this category. He is as ignorant as niggas come. Mark loves what he does. He will instigate anything he can in any situation. Ignorance and niggas go hand in hand. And that concludes our Hood Olympics. You gotta move, so little time, but so much to do. I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm tryna turn this mother to gold. Gotta get back with all of my soul.